Come back in Union Grove, Wisconsin. That is all that remains of a concession stand storage area with snake bite on top of it. Army, this happened in round one. I want you to watch the rear suspension of the snake bike truck when it lands. The driver basically is at the whim of the rear end of the truck. It'll bounce. Now, when it lands, the rear wheels are steering him. See him? He is just along for the ride. And it had to be a thrill ride, too, Gary. Colt Cobra through the Hydra barriers and through the storage shed. Fortunately, no one was injured. There was no one in that shed. Colt was all right. But that's what happens with a short runoff area when these trucks get out of control. Now we have semifinal action. We take a look at Gary Porter, the Carolina Crusher, against Fred Schaefer in barefoot, a pair of Chevrolets. This could be the quickest run of the day. Fred Schaefer look for a wheels up run. The Crusher's not going to roll over. Both of them Chevrolet. It's going to be quick. Oh, Porter leaves. Schaefer airs it out. And Schaefer oh. takes it by a fender. Fred Ooh. Schaefer, the fast qualifier. And you can see why he was the fast qualifier. Look at it again, Army. They leave. Well, the whole shot, you're right, goes to Gary Porter. Gary Porter worked off a line lock like the drag racers use on the transmission to get the initial jump, but Schaefer just muscles by with that horsepower in the far lane. Well, it could have been the gearing that won it for Fred Schaefer. I think it just came down to old brute horsepower, Gary. <laughs> well, Gary Porter walks away. He realizes he has been defeated as we take a look now at Bigfoot, Andy Brass, and Micro Machine. John Breen, Ford against Chevrolet. Something that's still happening. They've changed the track and everything, but Gary, everybody that has lane choice is still going to the right side of this track. Nobody wants to come to the left. And if Bigfoot goes against Schaefer, who's going to get to go into the next, the right lane in the next round? That could be the question of the day. Well, it looks now with uh, Bigfoot winning this one with Andy Brass that our fastest two qualifiers will be matched up for the championship. And these jamborees are more than just great monster truck racing. For more information on these trucking events, call or write the special events company in Indianapolis. A look at Bob Chandler without his customary black cowboy hat. We're ready for the championship shootout. Army, some thoughts from you. Hey, Gary, remember when you were a kid and you kind of ran into the neighborhood bully? He says, you hit me, and you said, no, you hit me, you hit me first, no, you hit me first. That is not the case today. I guarantee you, somebody, when that light goes green, is going to punch the other guy as quick as they can. Like an old-time gunfight, somebody's going to sucker punch the other one. They shorten the track. Drivers have made adjustments. you got one Ford, one Chevrolet, and there's another player here. Fred Schaefer has never won on this circuit. It's the third time that he's run here. He's been a world champion before, but he's never beaten these guys. This could be the day. But in order to do it, he's got to get past Bigfoot. They're going to the line right now. Let's see who's going to win this classic Ford and Chevrolet battle. Well, Army, as we take a look at Fred Schaefer, we have the ideal situation in bracket racing. We have the fastest two qualifiers going side by side for the championship. Bigfoot, that is Bigfoot 8, the frame tube truck out of St. Louis, Missouri, and he goes up against the Chevrolet of Barefoot. Barefoot, the fast qualifier. Andy Brass, the second fast qualifier. Horsepower is going to win it, Gary. That's what it all narrows down to. Well, Schaefer is out. Look at that. Schaefer takes Schaefer his first wins win. It. Schaefer wins it. They were wow. side by side, fender to fender, coming off the line. But as you indicated, horsepower will win here this afternoon. Horsepower did win. Watch the front wheels on Schaefer. He has got the feet out of the water and walking the dog as he hits that first ramp. And there you can see the length of the victory for Fred Schaefer as Andy Brass will take Bigfoot back to the trailer. And let's go down and talk to our winner. Well, Gary, persistency is a part of, of any kind of motorsport. Third time's charm for you, but man, it didn't come easy, did Fred? No, it didn't. There's some fast trucks out there, and it, and, uh, it was a real good race. You keep talking about the other fast trucks. You're, you know, you've always been a player. You run just as hard, and you proved it today as these guys. You've had some bad luck over in the year, but all the cards went down on the table today. It was two blue trucks, and you're the winner. Yeah, thank you very much, Army. It was a good race. Thank you very much. And our congratulations to Fred Schaefer. He takes the win here. That will wrap it up from Union Grove, Wisconsin. For Army